Hello, David Rollin here, and something kind of interesting happened yesterday. Yesterday, I uploaded this video, and I looked at the comments, and which I'm very thankful, by the way, but I was very surprised at some of the comments asking me about my tone. It's coming as a surprise because I don't know what I'm doing as far as tone. I have never been passionate about music gear. Truth is out, I, I really don't care that much about guitar pedals, amps, tweaking things. It, that kind of stuff just bores me. I love good tone, but I don't love spending time getting to it. And I, I don't know why, it's just one of these things. I, I, maybe I'm lazy, I don't know. But for some reason you guys like that tone, so I thought I would walk you through how I came up with my tone. And I've been, I was really flattered because for years, I've been using presets, and this is probably one of the first tones that I've made. All right, what am I using? Well, I'm using what's just behind me. You, you know this, I, I've, got, I've got some amps. I love amps, I, particularly these two here. I've got a Rev Generator 740, which I use sometimes, I love it. And uh, Paul Reed Smith MT-15, which I love too, but, most of the videos, just for convenience, I use this, the Axe FX, and I've had a long story with, uh, history with Axe FX. This is uh, the Axe FX 3. I started way back with the Axe FX Ultra. But I used the Axe FX 3, and I thought I would show you how I came out with my tone. Now, word of caution, I'm not gonna use the right words, because again, I'm not an engineer. I don't, I don't, I don't really, approach a piece of gear the way that it should be approached. I just use my ears and go with what I like. And Some of you liked it, so here we go. This, right here on the screen, is a representation of what uh, the Axe FX is doing, and just an easier interface. Um, you got different blocks here. My guitar is coming into the left, and here I've got my threshold, just to keep the volume down. And also, I think part of the tone is this Vola Oz guitar, which I talked about on the channel, and I'll tell you about it um, more in a future video. But I think the pickups in that video, in the this guitar, has a lot to do with this too. But I'm going in the threshold here, kind of adjusts the the noise. I don't want any noise coming in, so if I put that, you hear that? I don't want that. It's a little bit of noise, so I make sure that there's nothing going on. Then, I'm going to start with the essential thing, the amp. The amp that I'm using here is a USA Lead Mid Gain Bright. I, I don't know what it is. It's probably a Mesa Boogie or something. Um, the, the EQ here is kind of important. You see there's a little bit of overdrive on it already. But for the EQ, notice this, the mids. That's something that I found, I, I gravitate towards those sounds. So oftentimes I will boost the mids. Um, when I started playing, my mids were all the way down. And that's when I was like 15, you know, the scooped Metallica sound. I found that I like more mids. The input drive is kind of high, right? It's not set to really... Clean. No, I like having some drive on the amp. So that's kind of my sound, and notice that it's um, this particular amp, the voicing is not very bright. Um, if I use the neck pickup, it's a little brighter, but on the bridge pickup. It's not shimmery bright, it's not fender bright. And I like that, and that's an essential, I think, part of what I like. The cab that I'm using for this is a 4x12 Cali Fornia Lead 80S mix. Who knows what that is? I don't know, and I don't really care that much, but I, that's what I'm using here for this. Now, I think what uh, most people liked when they commented was due to the mids, a little bit higher. And I use a compressor. 
on top because I like things to be a little bit smooth and it kind of helps the way that you play. I know it's a little lower. I could um, increase the level here, but I didn't in that patch. And then I added a drive, which added some volume to it, more gain on, in the front. This is a full overdrive type thing. It enhances the mids. See that thing in the mids that I had without the drive? I have a little bit of the, yeah, the, the, the nasally type thing. That drive enhances that. So, so far we have a compression, compressor, going into a drive, an overdrive, going into the amp, which is set to a little bit break up, and the mids are, are boosted, going into the cab, and then what I always do is have a delay right here. We'll hear the delay. This is an ambient stereo delay. I love stereo delays. <laughs> Now that, the tempo of the delay, I will, I will usually tempo tap the thing on the song, but it's, uh, the repetition is maybe, repeats like three times and then it fades out. And then the reverb after the delay, which does something kind of cool when I do the vibrato. Now this is just a studio reverb type thing. I'm gonna kill the delay so you can hear what the reverb does. This is dry with the delay. It's discreet, but it's there. You can hear it. And then if I had the delay, the combination of delay feeding into the, the reverb, when you do the vibrato thing with your, your fingers, it's almost like you can trick the delay to be fed again, depending on how you vibrate your string. It's, it's, that's the best way I could ex explain it. If this is my, and, and it has to do with the tempo. So if this is my tempo. I will, I'll adapt my vibrato to that. And if I slow it down just a little bit. It'll, it'll do something kind of, kind of cool. You hear it? Oops, sorry. It'll kind of feed back. So forth. That's my sound. That's what I like. I told you this was not um, a good review or anything like that. I'm. I'm. What, what's that? What's that a reflection? Where is it from? Is that the sun? Yeah, sun's coming in. I usually close the shades. I guess I didn't. All right. That's all I have. <laughs> I hope you like this video. It is a little different. For those of you who have an Axe FX3, I'm going to leave the, the preset below and you can fix it for me. Maybe you'll make it better, probably, because again, I don't know what I'm doing. Just wanted to uh, answer that question. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be back with normal lessons. I'll see you next time. Practice well.